Hi guys, I have some Oroville Dam that I want to pass on to you. It is May 31, 2019. Lake Oroville has remained at the same level for five hours, 895 feet uh, approximately. Well, a bit above for five hours, which I find interesting because the outflows and the inflows and the numbers are different and you would think that the level would be different, but it's not. So it's remained at a steady level for five hours, 895 feet. You're still having a bit of seismic activity. This is uh, in between four and uh, five o'clock in the morning. This just passed. I mean, it was four, five a.m. May 31. Oroville, guess what? Get ready because the Department of Water Resources has announced for potential use of Oroville's main spillway next week. Due to forecasted inflows into Lake Oroville, the Department of Water Resources is preparing for potential use of its main spillway. Uh, the Department of Water Resources increased water releases from Hyatt Power Plant to approximately 10,000 cubic feet per second on Friday in anticipation of higher inflows into the reservoir next week. Well, you have a tremendous amount of snowpack that is getting ready to melt and that's going to have major impacts on rivers uh, and major impacts on reservoirs and lakes. Here they also say construction crews will remove all equipment from the main spillway over the weekend including scaffolding and materials used to divert water seeping from the spillways radial gates. Department of Water Resources is contacting its state and federal federal regula regulatory agencies, local law enforcement, local elected officials, and downstream levy districts to prepare for the potential well, wow, potential use. Once the decision is made on whether to use the spillway or not, Department of Water Resources will provide regular updates to the public and the media. It is common for the reservoir to stay relatively full during the summer months in an above average water year. Well, it is not common for the lake to be as high as it is in spring. And that's what the difference is. We did hear from the Department of Water Resources spokeswoman who said we keep it at 855. That's the cutout, uh, cutoff uh, level. We want to keep that 50% available for rains during the spring and snow melt during the spring. So uh, you're at 895 and I guess you are forecasted to get a lot of inflow. Surprise, surprise, no surprise whatsoever um, considering that snowpack that's coming down. Now I want to show you some pictures that were sent to me by a subscriber that she got from a Facebook page. Um, somebody that she knows on that social media platform. Uh, are you recognizing the water seeping through? Let me pause you for a second and bring up the next picture. Now, these pictures are apparently current pictures that were taken and somebody on that Facebook page, I hope I'm getting this right, I, I'm sorry if I'm missing some facts or um, from the email, but 
a person who lives in the area said that she was going to Oroville to check it out herself said that when and she got an email back from that person who said that she couldn't see it with her naked eye but she was using a scope and yes she said that water is seeping through the wear wall well um, here's another one okay well I thought that I would pass this along I also want to um, bring your attention to a video that was just posted on the uh, there was organizational resilience and the Oroville Dam meeting in 2017 the, the first part of this video is actually very interesting because he goes over details of what took place in 2017 and the disorganization between uh, well really stemming from the Department of Water Resources um, and well listen to it and one would hope that they got their act together now this I want to emphasize again potential use for the spillway next week okay so you might want to just be out of the area for the uh, opening up of the main spillway I would I would want to be um, okay so I want to also I'm just going to play a few minutes of Deborah Tavares. Uh, this was an interview that was posted yesterday and uh, very good information that everybody uh, really needs to listen to very carefully, but listen to what she has to say about the Oracle Dam. Over the world. So right. I want to just dive in to a few things, though, right here, right now in California. And then I'll jump in to the um, conference that I just returned from in the UK. But what I want to talk, talk to everyone about right now in California is the fact that they're likely going to uh, allow and um, create the destructive uh, they're going to destroy the Oroville Dam. That's what they're going to be doing. And well, that dam, by the way, if that dam the, goes, a quarter million homes go too, right? Well, that's true. And the water uh, is going to find its way through down the Feather River, down through San Francisco. It's going to have massive impact in the entire uh, central California area and beyond because they're claiming now that one of the aspects of letting the dam go is the water reduction uh, and the impacts on Los Angeles. So they're looking at this as a large-scale weapon and the aspects of massive damage. So why, why why would you um, hear this discussion that they're going to let the dam go? Because uh, dams are, are really literally booby traps set up all around the world. They know that they cause earthquakes. I did a lot of uh, research on this with my research team, and we discussed this at the UK conference. So it's very, very important to understand that there are documents saying called Paying It Forward, the Path Towards Climate Safe Infrastructure in California. And uh, this is dated September 2018. They're talking about the massive effects and deterioration of our existing infrastructure. They're specifically underlying, underscoring all levees, dams, and, um, and reservoirs. And I want everybody to think of it like this. Um, fake lakes make quakes. Now, you can type in reservoirs and earthquakes. You will see cascading down below that millions of um, uh, loss of uh, property, uh, thousands of people killed as a result of earthquakes from the impoundment of the reservoirs on the geological structure. Let me, let me Okay, so I will link below and you can listen to 
the uh, full interview. And you look, we know that they are destroying the infrastructure. And there's many ways in which they can do it. Uh, now rain actually uh, creates sinkholes where roads used to be. Roads are literally crumbling. Bridges are giving way, giving way. And we are seeing levees, dams, uh, the collapse of them. Um, now, we do understand that they're, they're really just using the environment against us. And will they actually destroy that dam? I don't know. Nobody really knows. That dam in Oroville has gotten a tremendous amount of attention. And it would, it would really surprise me if that dam goes within, let's say, the next two weeks. But that's speculation. Uh, I can't make that definitive statement because I don't know. And these people are nuts. And they realize the majority of the American people are in a condition where they will not listen at all. They're going with their beliefs and they're going with their uh, delusional way of thinking and they're allowing government officials to tell them what is going on and how to think. They're not thinking for themselves. So we have lost the majority of our fellow Americans. They are just lost people that you cannot rely on anymore. So, you know, I was thinking after listening to this interview, which I listened to yesterday, but then seeing this, okay, so they're opening up the main spillway. Uh, you got a tremendous amount of snow melt coming into those, into the Feather River. There is going to be flooding. Um, and having read some of the local articles, you know, and I posted one of them yesterday, about this event that was supposed to take place in, uh, I believe, Oroville, the Kiwanis Club. It was like a fishing event, and they canceled it because the water is flowing too powerfully, and they felt that it would put children um, in danger. So that water is coming down with five feet or six feet to spare at you know in the in Oroville Lake. So I think that they're realizing we have to release water. Is the dam ready for this? Well, nobody knows. So I want to um, I got a link from a subscriber who is, yeah, uh, should that dam collapse? Her house is gone. And depending on, you know, if there is an emergency, will people get evacuation orders soon enough? If they don't, she's dead along with her family. If they do get evacuation orders in enough time, then uh, this is what people are living. This is what people are living. And a whole lot of people are living this now. Um, you know, it's kind of like looking at the, the possibility that your life could be over soon. And I don't think most people get that. I think a lot of people have a normalcy bias, even in the awake crowd. Oroville Dam Spillway to be used Tuesday. The state says it's ready. Now, this was posted March 31, 2019. And my subscriber noted, okay, reading this article, what is the difference in terms of they keeping that water 
continually rising and not letting any of the waters out. What's the difference here? March 31. Uh, the state has been hinting for weeks that the spillway could be reused soon as a wet winter starts to give way to the spring snowmelt season in the Sahara. Uh, by the way, it is 33 times the snowmelt, 33 times the level it was last year. 33 times. So you're looking at a tremendous amount of water. And rivers are going to be just flooding communities. Um, so wet, wet winter starts to give way to the spring snow melt season in, in the Sahara. The lake level, deliberately kept low as repairs wound down, has risen to 853 feet, or about 50 feet from the top. Interesting. 853 feet? Okay, well, it's time to release water. It's 895 now, and they, they have maintained that it's common to keep that lake that full for the summer, but not the spring. And it's not summer yet. Department of Water Resource said releases could rise to as much as 60,000 cubic feet per second. Rain is forecast for the Oroville area Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so they're looking at rain. It's 853 feet. They're wanting to release water. Very different from what is taking place and what has been taking place uh, since this time. Now, this article, I have to read um, a lot of it because this is very important. Oroville Dam repairs aren't enough. Feds warn, should state be forced to plan for a mega flood? This was posted November 1, 2018. And I don't think yeah, I can think all I want. So what? You know, I don't know. Um, but the federal regulators raising new concerns, that was back in November, about the troubled Oroville Dam telling California officials their recently rebuilt flood control spillways likely couldn't handle a mega flood. Okay, what's the definition of a mega flood? Well, they go through this article talking about this mega flood, the probability of this mega flood. Uh, it's very unlikely. That's what is really so. So you're so concerned about this Oroville Dam, and it's only in relation to a mega flood, which, frankly, if you read this article, you would be concerned about every dam, perhaps in the world, but every dam in the United States. Uh, something is very off with this article. The public agencies that store water in Lake Oroville may be forced to spend millions of dollars upgrading the dam. That was back just, what, six months ago? State dam operators at the Department of Water Resources also could be forced to store less water in the lake to ensure there's more room to capture flood waters. Okay, you're looking at flood waters coming down. And guess what? The response. Now, this uh, agency, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, sent a letter to Department of Water Resources on the dam um, and Department of Water Resources gave it short shrift and said, well, you know, we're looking, we're doing an assessment, um, but clearly based on this article, Department of Water Resources didn't have any plans to take into consideration what the Federal Agency Regulatory Commission 
said in the letter. State dam operators at the Department of Water Resources also could be forced to store less water in the lake to ensure there's more room to capture floodwaters. 895 feet. So they haven't done that. The warning came just as 1.1 billion in repairs are wrapping up on the dams to spillways. Okay, so they spent 1.1 billion in repairs and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission sends a letter. There's still problems with that dam. Um, FERC, that's what this uh, commission is, that's their the letters that's you know what I'm what I mean I swear to you I feel like my brain is just being blitzed um, the FERC letter shows that the near catastrophe in 2017 has made the federal government less likely to trust the state's claims that the 50 year old dam is as safe as it can possibly be the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has the same concerns as all of you guys there and all of us paying attention to what's happening at that dam. Interesting, isn't it? Are they going to claim that the Federal Agency Regulatory Commission uh, are they're just getting their information from social media and that they're not, you know, going with the facts and the evidence, they're just going with rumor? No, of course not. A uh, Department of Water Resource official said the work has left the spillway stronger than ever and capable of withstanding what the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers considers the worst storm that can be reasonably expected. The newly rebuilt, rebuilt main spillway can easily do this without using the emergency spillway. The federal agency said the hillside beneath the emergency spillway could face substantial erosion if such a storm ever hit and told the state that the structure might need to be fortified. A more robust and resilient design of the emergency spillway may be required to prevent the possibility of moderate to severe damage to the emergency spillway structure for the expected full peak flow. Department of Water Resource officials agreed that additional work might be needed down the line. So what are we talking here? We're talking both. We're talking this mega uh, flood, but we're also talking about the snow melt. So chances of such a mega storm are so remote that experts generally don't quote the statistical probability of such an occurrence. It's the theoretically greatest precipitation that could happen on the watershed upstream of the dam. So why bother worrying? Well, you need to plan for the worst. Okay, this is a mega flood. Uh, theoretically, the greatest precipitation that could happen. What What's going on in the uh, central United States right now having massive amounts of precipitation two inches in 45 minutes uh, so I have a funny feeling that they needed to report on this FERC level uh, letter sent to the Department of Water Resources and not wanting to create any alarm, they are talking about this mega, mega, mega flood that, well, according to uh, sources, it's not even a probability, so why even worry? The Federal Agency uh, uh, Energy Regulatory Commission sent that letter 
because there are problems with the dam. Bottom line, chances of such a megastorm are so remote. Yeah. Um, but we're living in the new normal, right? The watershed above Oroville makes it particularly dangerous. Very little rain that falls actually seeps into the ground. Instead, granite lined quickly canyons and quickly channel massive amounts of rainfall into the lake behind Oroville Dam in a process that Rogers, uh, who is an expert on dams, describes as flashy. The water just sheets right off. It's a real flashy reservoir. It's probably the most flashy reservoir in the country of that size. The more uncertainty you have to keep more space in the lake. Okay, let me reread that. The more uncertainty, the more space you need to keep in the lake. for flood storage. That has not taken place. Engineers had known for decades that if water ever spilled over Oroville's emergency spillway, it would cause serious erosion, possibly compromising the earthen structure that holds back the reservoir and threatening communities downstream. California water districts, known as the state water contractors that help pay for Oroville, the um, repairs, resisted calls to armor the structure, which would have required construction outlays in the tens of millions of dollars. The FERC letter represents a victory after years of having their concerns, well, critics, uh, their concerns brushed aside. The handwriting is on the wall that they're going to have to confront these issues. The contractors are either going to have to pay for a better dam or accept that the dam doesn't deliver them as much water. And the Department of Water Resources, and this, I posted videos on um, former Department of Water Resource employees, engineers, saying they're more concerned about the water being delivered to communities that's, you know, ching, 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 money, 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 than they are with safety. Um, earlier, early this year, which was 2018, the independent forensic team led by France heavily criticized California officials, saying the state did a poor job of designing, building, and maintaining the structure, and neglected safety while focusing on the water delivery needs of the water district who keep water in Oroville. The forensic team described the festering problems at Oroville as a long-term systemic failure. And to date, I haven't heard from anybody that they have repaired properly the systemic failures. Okay, so um, I will link below to the live stream. This is on Susan Malding's channel and um, a lot of people writing in. I check here to see if there's any new information you know, in the chat. I haven't been able to find any. Um, so if anybody does find any new information, regardless of where it's coming from, please link below. I was just reading Susan Walding's comment. Okay. Yes, please link below. Um, potential use, opening up the main spillway next week. And you're at 8.95 now. So um, they're going to be releasing it. I can't, I don't see how they can't 
at this point because it's it's clearly you know now they're keeping five or six feet for flood storage when you're looking at 33 times as much snow as you did last year all right all links are below stay safe everybody